Hello Real Estate, my name is George Ryan, Termago Unit Manager for Philippine Homes. And today we're gonna be showing to you one of the latest addition to the skyline here in Cebu City and will soon become the tallest condominium here in Cebu City and I am talking about Double M Towers. Now, Double M Towers was launched last year, um, about November 8, 2019. And according to sunstar.com, um, Double M Towers is developed by M. Montes Claros Development Corporation. And it is putting up 4 billion pesos to construct this project. Now, Double M Towers is a two-tower project wherein the, the first one is a residential tower and the second one is a mixed use. And according to sunstar.com in its published article on the same day, Double M Towers is developed by a local developer. And Double M Towers is the maiden project which will see the rise of a condo and a hotel here in Cebu City. And MMDC um, is investing 4 billion pesos to build this two-tower mixed-use project and I to be completed in five years. The first tower is a 57 condominium tower and the second tower is a 25-story hotel with 125 rooms and a retail and commercial components in the first nine floors. Now the condo is designed to have 1,206 units and will be finished in 5 years. Now if you check in the website, um, they are saying that Double M Towers is a game changer and you know I think they are right. Now here are the features. They have 1,000 square meters of premium grocery store, 13 commercial spaces in 2 floors, 4 meeting rooms, 900 square meters of convention center and three BPO floors with 2,000 square meters each. 500 total combined parking slots, 225 premier hotel rooms, and 57 stories of panoramic view of the city's skyline. Now Double M Towers is designed to be the tallest tower in Cebu City and will become the city's landmark. This is already an achievement but as a buyer and investor what do you get out of this project? Now let's start with the location and I think this will be a critical piece of information for investors like you. Now Double M Towers has a lot of hospitals near its location. Near but not too close. Um, this is only 450 meters from Vicente Soto Hospital, 600 meters from Changhua Hospital, and 1.4 kilometers from Cebu Doctors Hospital. It's also 1.5 kilometers from Veles General Hospital and 2 kilometers from Perpetual Socor Hospital. And I am already anticipating a big number of medical professionals like doctors, medical representatives, nurses, and even patients from away location with frequent visits to hospitals to get a unit here either as, as an investment or as an extra residence for them to use. Now, if you work in Cebu ID Park, which is about 2.9 kilometers from, uh, from this location or in Cebu Business Park offices, that's 4.3 kilometers. While the distance is not really far, you would also like to consider the traffic. Fortunately, this will no longer be a big problem because the modernized transportation that we have here in Cebu City that's, um, that's fully air-conditioned and is safe and will directly transport you from this location to Cebu Business Park or in Cebu IT Park. Well, this is actually also very attractive to foreigners and expats who are looking to have a place to stay in Cebu City but has better access or but is looking for a residence that has better access to the international airport. The third bridge will certainly come in handy as it is only about 5 kilometers and the road going there is much smoother and less traffic. Now the other deciding factor in choosing this property is its proximity to schools. Um, St. Teresa's College is only about 1,000 meters away. Way. Sacred Heart School for Girls, he has the Jesus is only 1.5 kilometers. Veles College is only 1.4 kilometers. A Cebu Institute of Medicine is also 1.4 kilometers. USC Law and Business School is 2.2 kilometers. University of the Visayas is 2.8 kilometers. USJR is only 2.8 to 6 kilometers. University of the Philippines is also 2.7 kilometers. University of San Carlos North Campus is also 1.6 kilometers. And USC Montessori Academy is only 1.6 kilometers. 
Now let's go back to the bang for the buck or its value for the money. Now, when you get a unit at Double M Towers, you are not just buying the unit, but also what the project has to offer. This is a future mixed-use development as, as you know, mixed-use development is the future of condominium projects as it promotes live, work, and thrive in one place by incorporating work and leisure all in one place. At Double M Towers, you will already have a BPO office, a complete shopping destination, and of course, the security. Now, for the price, let's talk about the price. Now, this is for most investors where the deal is made or broken. And one of the good indicators that, you know, this is something that is a good investment is to look at the properties in the area. Now, let's compare it with the other condominium projects in the area. And the nearest pre-selling condo um, in the area is in Virama and is now sold at about 140,000 pair square meters. Also, if you try to compare it in the condominium projects near Fuente Osmeña, it's about 150,000 to 170 square meters. Now, if Double M Towers sells lower than that, let's say about 120,000 square meters, then consider this as a bargain and you will have the best deals in the area. But as you know, as the development of condos progress, so will the price increase as well. And even at a pre-selling stage, they would always have that increase gradually as, as the construction goes up. So if you're interested, I encourage you to reserve on the first day that it will accept reservation. I think that would be it for now. Um, this project is one of the much awaited projects here in Cebu City. And you can see that construction is already ongoing, although there are delays um, because of the pandemic. But rest assured that once this goes fully operational, this is one of the projects that will have the highest value as an investment, not only because of its location, not only because of what it has to offer, but also because of its potential to be one of the best destinations for foreigners that are looking for a place to stay in Cebu City but is also convenient for them to go back to the international airport going home. Once again, this is George Ryan's Romago Unit Manager for Filipino Homes and peace!